Hey guys, and welcome to another Barely Art Live. Today I have a special guest with us. This is Juan. Hello everybody. Juan's gonna be helping us make this crazy awesome off the mat game controller that you can kind of see going on here, but we'll, we'll jump straight into that in a little bit. But first, we have a few different announcements. Uh, we have CMSS that is coming up, which is the Card Maker Success Summit. Awesome. The Card Maker Success Summit is a free event, but there is a VIP section where you can get a lot of extra goodies. We'll be taking part of it, and part of those proceeds will be going to Cards for Cubs. That is happening 
August 11th. So if you want to learn more about that, you can go to our website, fairly.art, or just you know Google search CMSS on that one. Uh, also, we have a Christmas in July sale that is coming up in July 1st. All right, money saving. <laughs> money saving right there, yeah. We're going to have sale on the Jennifer Maker limited editions. Uh, we'll also have QBs on sale and alcohol inks as well, too. So it's a few different things. So get ready for a little bit of savings coming here in the summer. Last announcement that we have for today is that we have the mushroom glue holders ready for you for sale. And these guys, we're going to show you a little bit, too. We've, we've explained the key, right? So they all come with a mushroom key. All right. And so what this is for, which we'll show you right now, is you can actually adjust your base here like that, right? And the reason that you want to do that is depending on the type of tip that you have. So if you don't know anything about the glue holders here, uh, the reason that makes these awesome is that they will prevent your glue from drying out as quickly, right? So as you know, with our glue, right, you typically keep a pen in it. You have that piece in there. And so what you can do instead is that, let's say that you're doing a lot of different crafts and things and you are using it and then need to put it away, using it and put it away. Well, instead of putting the pin back in every time, you could just set it upside down like that, all right? And if you have the fine tip, what you wanna do is you want to unscrew this all the way down to the bottom like that. So that's flat like that. So then what happens is that little piece there of the fine tip is sitting right on this little pad that's on the bottom there and holds it nice and tight. Very neat, huh? Nice. Yeah. So on ones, he has the ultra fine there as well. And so with that, uh, this can be screwed all the way up and put in like that. Or if you just want it for decoration, you know, you can stick it in there <laughs> as well. Uh, we also have the bee hive as well and the cactus. I believe those are still available. All right. I think that's all of our announcements for today. So, so wanna jump straight into it? Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Okay, so it's been a little bit since we've done an off the map project. So if you're looking down here on the table, we have this giant game controller here. We're gonna be doing a few different fun things with it. So we have the back base, and then we have a second base here. And then we're going to make this joystick actually be kind of 3D, right? So we're going to be doing, here's a, here's a mini one that Andrew had made up earlier. Uh, so this is going to be a little bit 3D, so you can move it around and you can push it around a little bit like that as well. All right. So we're pretty much making like a large paper brad there. The rest is pretty simple because it's all cubies. <laughs> Not too bad. All right. So we've got that there. Um, so the next things that we're going to have is... Uh, we have all these little buttons and things that are going to be used for it. And give me one second there. Oops, have a little bit of a camera issue. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, so we've got all those pieces there. So the first step in any off the map project is we're going to tape the back piece first. Okay. All right. So we're going to kind of just push everything off to the side. So we'll take each one of these buttons and just stick them somewhere off there. A little menu and start button stick out there. Other controller pieces off there. And then we've got this as well. We're going to move over. And this is a pretty simple puzzle piece here. All right. Move that like that. Bring this all over here. Make sure that you have a lot of extra space as it gets a little bit wonky. Okay. Eight pieces. Yes. All right. Oh, I forgot to say, we also use texture cardstock as well. So this is textured cardstock that we're using just to give it a little bit of some extra shadows and things. ASMR. ASMR right there, yes. And we use texture cardstock. We have some metallics on the buttons that we'll show you later. And I believe, oh, and we have some regular paper, copy paper here as well, which we'll use in a bit. And some cardstock, some scratch stuff. You guys have this all over the place. All right, so the next bit on this is that we're gonna have to flip this over <laughs> with all the pieces. So we're going to move this this way, all right? Because it is textured. All right. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. so I'll put this over here on this side. Perfect. And then flip this guy around like that. Okay. And then it's just a puzzle piece from there, right? So again, we're going to tape it. So just get some clear tape, some scotch tape or whatever it is that you have, and go ahead and start putting this on. If you're just now joining us, we're making an off the mat game controller and you can get this on our website, barely.art. It's already pre-cut for you. So you don't even have to do all the craziness that you usually would have to do with off the mat. This is just straight up cut for you right there. All right, and I just ran out of tape. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I think we might have some more in here. Yes, we do. Here's some. Alrighty. Yeah, this is deceiving. It looks like there's a lot more than there actually is. That was me. I sabotaged you. <laughs> Juan took all the good tape. All right. Okay. And this is really just to make sure that everything gets uh, all aligned in place. We actually had some issues with the Cricut not that long ago of it kind of cutting in things. So one thing that I learned about the Cricut is that you can actually, uh, you can actually make it calibrate. I don't even know you can calibrate it. So you can actually calibrate the Cricut to make sure that it's actually cutting uh, everything correctly because apparently it needs calibration every now and again. Interesting. I know, right? Okay. All this here. Okay. Put that down. So this is Juan's very first off the map project, right? All right. Biggest one. Go big or go home. All right. And uh, one of our favorite questions is where are you guys all crafting from today? All right, we are in good old Arlington, Texas. If you don't know where that is, it's wedged right between Dallas and Fort Worth. So two big major cities. And we're with all of the random thunderstorms and tornado warnings. And we had a ton of different storms that happened. Oh yeah, absolutely. Even today, and now it's all sunny. Exactly, yeah. It's like, you can't even predict it. It doesn't make any sense at all. All righty. So we've got that going there. Okay, perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and set this aside. And then we're going to go ahead and tape the other piece as well. Um, I'm just going to put it on the ground here under the view. Okay, and we can go ahead and tape this piece now too. All right. That there, All right? Then we can flip this. There's a lot of flipping involved. That way. Very complex puzzle. <laughs> yes, indeed. There we go. And if you use the texture paper, you can kind of tell, if you look really closely, um, you can kind of tell which side the texture is on sometimes. So then we'll put that on there, that like that, that like that, like that, there. Oh, oh. Well, oops. <laughs> I was like, wait a second, something's wrong. It yeah. genuinely is confusing. And I was like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. All right, we'll go ahead and tape those pieces together. All right. The reason that we're taping all these pieces together is that we can kind of, it's easier to align them later on. You can just go ahead and do it as is, but to me, this makes a lot more sense. All right, I'll put that together there. And just make sure to take your time while taping. You can never overdo it. All these pieces in. All right, and I like the double color going on here as well, which is always fun. And so, yes. And this is a great thing to do for like a game room, for your kids' room, etc. 
You know, it's a nice way to be like, look at what I can do with the crap instead of, you know, having them always play video games or do it with them. <laughs> All right, even better. All right, and I'll let you join us. So I'm just going to cut this off like that. Okay. We have Lourdes from Ohio. Hello. Thanks for crafting with us today. Roseanne from California. Hello there. All right. Oops. And Roseanne loves the beehive holder. She uses it all the time. We actually have that one sitting right here. All right, so we have in a few different ones. We have the beehive, we have the mushroom now, and we have the cactus as well. In different colors. A lot of different things coming your way. Lots of variety. Oh, yes. Okay, so we've got that here. So you, now you need your poster board as well, right? So we've got a black poster board. Might be a little bit harder to find, but you have this solid piece here. And you're going to grab your dark gray template that you had made before. Set it on there. Okay, so if you've never made an off the map project before, there's a couple of things to know. One, it, you don't have to cover the entire thing. I'm gonna split the difference. You can see that this is a little bit bigger. That's okay, because what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut inwards because you don't want this to show, right? Uh, so the first thing that you do with this is you're going to trace it with a pencil. Thank you. And you can use the other pencil as well. Awesome. And you're just going to press down and try to trace that around like that. Okay, just enough so that you can see. We have Regina from Indianapolis. Hello. I was actually born in Indianapolis. Don't know anything about Indianapolis besides NASCAR and corn. <laughs> but <laughs> other than that. And it doesn't have to be perfect when you're sketching this out. Just have to, so you can see where it is that you need to cut. Okay. All right, we get all the way around one? Yep. Okay, good. Okay, make sure I even did it correctly. Good. All right, so now what we do is we're gonna use our Excel blades. And so one of the things that we had learned is that exacto blades don't work well. <laughs> These are called Excel blades, not sponsored at all, but I like them a lot. Um, they're extremely sharp, so be careful, right? But they cut through poster board like butter, okay? And so all you're gonna do, you don't have to cut, uh, we're not gonna cut right on the line, we're gonna cut a little bit outside of it. And it really doesn't matter um, how even it is or anything like that. Just kind of press into it, cut around like that. Um, feel free to take big chunks out at a time. We're, you know, in this case, we're pretty close to the edge. But a lot of times, like if you have like a, something, a figure that's like that size, you just kind of cut really deep into it. In this case, we don't have to do that. And if we had our front influencer Anne here, she can cut through this in like two seconds. <laughs> I'm a little more methodical. Kind of keep cutting around. Again, try to keep it a little bit smaller. Yeah, and when we tried this with Exacto, it was not great. I'm glad this does not need to be perfect because I have had too much caffeine today. <laughs> it's okay. all over the place. It's all right. I've had a good amount of caffeine too. So, <laughs> yeah, caffeine and crafts. More C's. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna kind of come around this way as well. And I also hurt my shoulder the other day too, so a little bit slower than usual today. So if you're wondering why I'm a little stiffer, that's that's the reason. I'll try to pick up the slack. Swan's <laughs> got my back. Very nice. All right, cut across. 
house and then one last cup. Here. All right, go ahead and pull those aside. Put that knife away. And I won't suck into it. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we won't need it, I don't think, after that. Okay, boom. We got that piece there ready to go. Okay, so now that we have that, Take this back out here. And we're going to put glue. Actually, what are we going to do with this one? I'll put it this way. Oops. I'm sure I've bumped that like five times now. Okay, we're going to go ahead and line it up. I somehow made an error. Uh, I forgot to cut some pieces. Yes. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's okay. Just kind of eyeball it then. All right. On that. This be a straight cut there. Uh, nice. All right, Andy wants to know if we play video games. I don't play as much as I used to. Um, honestly, I found it a good de-stressor back in the day. Probably should pick it up, but <laughs> what about you, Juan? I am a huge gamer, actually. <laughs> Which is partly why we're doing this project. Absolutely, huge horror fan. There we go. Uh, lots of horror games. A little yes. bit of action games. I gotcha, I gotcha. Uh, not the most, but yeah, I gotcha. Horror. What kind of uh, what kind of games are uh, are you into right now? Uh, specifically, just a lot of the later um, or more recent Resident Evil games. Oh, I gotcha. Nice. Lots of That's fun. good. That's good. All right. The next step here, since we already have it aligned, I'm just holding it down on one side, and then we're going to glue all of this here. Uh, and you can switch out your tip as well to the fine tip. I have them right here, Perfect. Looks like. And so with this, the main thing is trying to make sure that you get enough on here, uh, but so that's not bubbly. You don't want to like press into it like crazy. That is kind of asmr -y. It is. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done it like this before in my life. <laughs> All right, there, and you can go ahead and help fill in some of these awesome flanks there as well. Very nice. And I guess we'll go ahead and use this as well. So this tool here is just like a little rubber, little rubber brush. And we're just gonna help kind of press it down just a little bit, just so we don't get like the bumps and things. Like the textured cardstock's pretty, uh, pretty good, but I'm gonna go kind of quickly because it's gonna start drying. Okay. And then come down like that. All right, and if you've got a briar on you or a smusher, you can press it in. So if you could do that for me, Juan. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing this side. i do that. I'll go a little bit quicker because I just realized the glue is drying. Make sure that you guys are working on a nice big surface area for this because it's really hard to do if you have a small desk. Lots of parts. Lots of little pieces. All right, go ahead and press that side in now. It's over here. Very nice. It's like we're making like dough or something. <laughs> <laughs> Like one big cookie cutter type thing. Barely Arts Bakery. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, and Tamik says that it sounds so beautiful. Well, I agree too. All right. So we've got our next section here. We'll do the exact same things before. We'll line this guy up here. And let me see if we can 
get that it's about like that, all right? One more this way. What do you think, one? Looks about even. All right, sounds good. Okay, you know the drill. Absolutely. So I'll go ahead and move this over for you. Very nice. So what other horror games are you into recently? Ooh. Well, I've been revisiting some of the older Silent Hill games with oh, the I new gotcha. one coming out this year. So Very nice. That's definitely been... I just uh, realized we can't come. I should have warned you. We can't come too close to that edge. Right. <laughs> Let's see. I think we're okay. Let me see. Hey, pretty just close. A just bit. a little bit here and there. Yeah, I, I should have I should have recommended us to do it on here first, but it's okay. We'll do it on the next side. That was my fault. <laughs> there it is. Very nice. It's crafting, and hey, it dries clear. <laughs> you won't notice. Very nice. Andy says that this would be a very cool project for her cousin's room. That would be fun. I assume your cousin's a big gamer then. Yeah, for me though, it was all mouse and keyboard, so that's a little less fun. <laughs> Just put a big mouse on the wall with a keyboard. It's not, not that great. All right, so we'll go ahead and glue this side so we will not make that mistake. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very nice. Yes, Laura said that her son loves video games. Yeah, that's, that's it. Really what it comes down to, I would say, is that this is, again, a good, like, kid's room. Off the mat, kind of mixing crafting and gaming together. And if you guys are just joining us, you can get this on our website, barely.art, for absolutely free. And it already comes pre-cut like this. So typically with off the mat, you have to resize it and scale it and all these other things there. We're just going to go ahead and flip this over as is on this one. Um, typically you have to resize it and everything, but on this one, you don't. It comes straight out like this. Okay. Straight like this. Really simple, easy to work with. All right. I think I keep keep accidentally bumping that camera, so sorry guys. Very nice, thank you all. All right, so now that we've got that there, let's go ahead and move on to a bit of the more complicated bits first. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna actually move this aside for now. Goodbye controller. Goodbye controller. Control my life. <laughs> All right, so we've got a few different things here. What we're going to be working on now is the joystick part of this, right? So this does move around a little bit, right? And it's got some height to it too, so you can kind of play with it. Nice little fidget toy. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to work on that bit of it. And we've got these three pieces here, this eyeball looking thing that we're going to do for that. Okay, so what we're going to do and you can either do this, um, you can either do this with uh, just some scrap, you can cut it on the Cricut, you can just cut it out by hand, you can cut it out with a whole tool, this is what we're gonna be using. There's a lot of different ways that we could do this, all right? So we've just got this cup for fun <laughs> that we're going to kind of get an idea of what size to, to cut these two circles out. And you'll see kind of where this is all going here in a second. So we're gonna just draw around this thing real quick. And then we'll use the whole saw to kind of cut it out like that. So we're getting two circles about this size here, like that. All right, so we've got that there. So Andy wants to know uh, which one is more difficult, 3D cake toppers or off the mat? Honestly, I would probably say in terms of like complexity, I would say 3D cake toppers because a lot of other moving parts and things. Off the mat is probably not as hard, uh, but it's big. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like you can't be as complex uh, with this. 
OK, so I'm going to show Juan here how to use this tool, and all you guys do. And we're not really trying to cut straight on the, uh, the marks that we had made. Those are just for reference. So what you do with this thing here is that there's this little twisty bit that locks it. And what happens is you can press this out. This is the blade, and that will spin around. Right? So we're just going to kind of center this up as best that we can. Bring the blade in to about that, to about the size of our line, and I'm just going to tighten this down. Okay. Once you're tightened down, you can cut as many of these circles as you want. All right. So you can press down this thing here, and then you drag this guy around. You have to press down a little bit too. It's a little bit finicky, but I enjoy it. All right. So like that, we've got the circle here. Go all the way around. Didn't go all the way through. I didn't press it all the way. It's my fault, but that's okay. Like that. So one circle done. Perfect circle. And then for this circle here, it's the same thing. So you're going to take this. So that's loosened now. I'm going to kind of put that in the center-ish as best that you can. Again, it's not it's not a precise thing. I off here, right? Right. Kind of come in. Yep. That right there. And twist that thing. Yep. Just tighten it down. And then press the button, and then either you can spin the paper, or you can spin the tool. Let's try. The, let's try the paper. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It is again a little bit finicky. Good. Oops. I think it's moving around a little bit too much. It appears I've made an error. <laughs> it's okay. Oh wow. It's okay. <laughs> now that you have it locked in place, it doesn't really matter where you put it. So you can actually then just say, okay, I'll put it right here now. So let's right. try that again. So press, let's try, let's try moving this this time. So press here and then twist with this. Right. I'll hold this paper down for you. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's much better than. Yeah. It depends on the paper too. Looks like that should be all. Okay, good. And then we're gonna take this bit here and pull this out. And I think we need to replace the blade on that. It's not very sharp. That's okay. Again, none of these parts are going to be seen. It's just to have a little bit of extra wiggle room there. All right, so you got your two circles like that. Get rid of this. All right, so you got your two circles there. Uh, next, we have this is a scoreboard, right? And we've got this piece of paper here. Now, what we're making is a little cylinder, All right? That's going to go on this and on the other side so that we can kind of move it around. Okay. So again, this is not in the file because you can make this however you want. What we're gonna do is we're gonna measure out, uh, let's see here, about one and a half inches. So go ahead and put this on here, one and a half inches, somewhere there. It doesn't have to be exact. And cut it like that, okay, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to score this. And Andrea had put a little bit of tape here just to make sure it doesn't move. Okay. So we're going to score this about half inch and half inch there with this little scoring knife. It doesn't have to be perfect, but since we have the tools, we're going to go ahead and do it. So we're just pressing down on the paper like that. And then press it down again about every half inch. Right there, like that. Okay. So we got that down. Okay. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to make this into our little cylinder. Put that off there. We don't need this anymore. Okay. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to make this into our cylinder here. And this is roughly the size of this guy, which is why we have him. All right, so we're gonna put that in there like that. Spin this around like that. We'll go ahead and glue this one, actually. Okay. So if you wanna glue, if we glue that here, All right, we've got a comment too that says that Juan's hair is better than mine. <laughs> I agree. I used to have long hair like Juan way back in the day. And 
uh, Matthew knows. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. So now what we're going to do with this, and I'll have you do this one, is you're going to take scissors and you're just going to cut like that. I'm going to cut all the way around about that much. All right. all right. I'm going to do that on this side and you're going to do it on this side. All the way around about that much. Okay. Awesome. There you go. All right. So as he's doing that part of it, what that's going to do is it's going to make uh, basically this little cylinder with a little bit of a flare. And with that flare, what we'll do is we'll attach these two pieces together. So the other thing that we have to do is that we have to make another little hole in this big size piece here. So you have this, right? And that hole is going to be this size. Okay. Okay. And it doesn't have to be exact. All right. We're just trying to get as best that we can. So we'll move this into place. And remember, Juan had already set this at this size, so we can go ahead and use it at this size already. And that's probably about right. Okay. And I'm going to cut around again. And again, if you don't have a hole tool, that's okay. You don't need one. It's just handy to have sometimes. All right. So now we've got this little donut going on here. All right. Okay. Nice little eyeball. Thank you, Juan. Absolutely. All right. So now what we can do is we can flare all this out like that. All right. Okay. Because what's going to happen is that this is going to now be inside of here as our controller bit. All right. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and have Juan glue these two together. All okay. Right. That's our top part. And I'm going to take this small piece that we cut out before, which I now realize we could have just used this piece that we cut out from the hole. But <laughs> whatever, it's fine. <laughs> We're going to glue this down onto this like that. All right. So take your glue, glue this around. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's not going to be seen. No one's going to see it or know about it, except for you. A little secret. All right. It's our little secret. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Just like that there. Good. All right. Okay. So we've got that piece there. And then we're going to bring this inside of here. Like that. And then we're going to glue this piece down here. You can do this a lot of different ways, but. And this is so that it can move around a bit. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of get it down there. All right. Like that. Okay, just make sure that there's no extra glue that's sticking out so that it can move around freely. All right. And I'm also going to, I think I'm going to tape some of these pieces down. Actually, I just realized I think I can stick pull this out too. Um, I think I'm going to tape some of these pieces down here because it looks like these little flares might catch on some things. Absolutely. So we're just going to take the tape. I think that's going to be enough on the outside there. Yeah, so just kind of tape those flares down. Should be good. Anywhere else? Just a little bit more on that side. Finish that one. So we've got this little joystick little thingy here. All right, perfect. So we got that down just to make sure. I think I have a little bit more right here at this corner. All right, there it goes. Okay, stick this back in here. Okay, so we've got this that can move around now like that. Oops, actually, a little bit more. Make sure, yeah, it's just some of these little pieces don't like to stick down. We're just going to tape the whole thing. Why not? I like that better. So, little technical difficulties there. So, we're going to tape these down too because these are actually getting in the way too. All right. And again, no one's going to see any of this, so. <laughs> Let me just kind of. 
pick it up a bit like that. Mm. Just kind of fold it around like that because we're just going to glue all that straight down. Uh, if we were to do it again, we'll just cut the little sides in a little bit more and we'll we should be good. Very nice. Yeah, these little pieces like to flare up. Okay. Very nice. Got yeah, one last bit there, should probably do it. Absolutely. This is complex. I would not like to do cake top. <laughs> we've made this one a little bit more complex just for fun. All right. Okay. So we've got that now. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and insert this back in like that. There we go. So now we've got our little joystick going on here. Then we're going to glue this to this and we're pretty much done. So with this part of it anyways. All right. Glue on there. And oops, down we go. All right, just like that. All right, so now that we have that, this can move around freely and we have the joystick. It's okay. So we're going to let this dry over here for right now. I'm going to work on some of these other little bits and pieces. So go ahead and grab your, yeah, the button one. Buttons. Yes, All buttons right. for yours. I'm going to grab this guy here. Uh, so what you're going to do with the buttons is you're going to glue these two pieces together and then after that you're going to cube it down. All right. So go ahead and glue the shiny metallic pieces to that other piece there and then cube it. Yes. And then on this one I'm just going to cube it. All right. We got our big bag of cubies, not for sale, just for fun. <laughs> I'm going to take out some of the thick ones here, make it a little easier on us. Use this as well. Here. Very nice. Oops, I thought I grabbed strips, but I didn't, so we're just going to use these. You can never go wrong with too many cubies. <laughs> Yeah, so I haven't played very many uh, more of the recent titles, I would say, but I used to be big into like MMO type games. Mm. So I used to be big into like RuneScape and Final Fantasy and that type of thing back in the day. Were you a PC gamer? Uh, so during that time, RuneScape, well, yeah, you have to be, right? Um, <laughs> but for uh, Final Fantasy things, it was PlayStation for a long time. And everyone else had Xbox, and I was the only PlayStation, so I couldn't play with anyone. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I know. This is a little rough for me. All right, got those down. Okay, yes. so now you're going to QB those. QB those in spots, and since you're the master gamer, the resident gamer here, you know the button layout, which you've already got going on there, so that's good. I was staring at it earlier, I'm like, I don't actually know what the button order is for this. Okay, so for these guys, the easiest thing to do is to put like four-ish QBs here and right. on one side, down, and then you can peel the other side up. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I already made the mistake of peeling both sides on that one. It's okay. It's okay. If you've never used them before, I mean, you've worked with them a lot, but you've never used Absolutely. them before. So it's like, this is this is the, the crafting side behind it, right? All right, so we've got that. And then I'm going to go ahead and do this one as well. So on this one here, it's the same thing. You glue these two pieces together. And then you're, we're going to QB them. Okay, so glue that piece onto that piece, and here is going to be another QB as well. So yeah, the easiest way to do it, put them down, all over the place, and then I usually like to do, we could have used the strips here, which would have been easier, but we've got so many of these other ones that I just kind of want to use them up. <laughs> Grab all these pieces, 
one at a time. And I tend to over QB everything, so it's because we're trying to sell more. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> So once you have those all down, yep, you got it. Easy. All right, we're nearing the finish line. Very close to the end. All right, if you're just joining us, we're making an off the mat game controller for your kid's room. All right, or your cousin or whoever, or your, your gamer husband or whatever it is, right? Or whoever it is. It's available on our website at barely.art for free, of course, as always. Just make sure that you're subscribed to our email list so that you can get all the information and the downloads immediately. Be the first one to see all of it. All right, so I've got that part here. How's those buttons going? I am halfway done. All right, I'll help you out with this one here. Okay, so got that down. And oh yeah, we've got a random new toy to show you guys as well, just for fun. I'm sorry. <clears throat> a little, a little fun thing. Not for sale, just a little fun thing. <laughs> I'll let you place that. This is the little fun thing that we have. Boop. <laughs> it's a little ball vacuum cleaner, just for fun. More like it's a it's a little vacuum cleaner that we stuck Bob's face on, but it's a little ball vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> and what we found is that it's great for glitter and for this QB confetti, as we call it. All right, so you just turn that little on, little vacuum down there, just like that. Not bad. And we've actually found that it's yeah with glitter and things that it works really well too, which I'm really surprised about. Yeah, there we go. It is awesome. Just like that. And it's rechargeable. <laughs> so he's he's our little he's a little vacuum cleaner we'll leave up here. Oops. Alright. Alright, you got that down. Very nice. Okay, we have all of our little pieces here. So now we're gonna grab the big controller piece here and move these over. We don't need our holes anymore or a QB. I I think that's your pen, yes? Okay. I'll bring this back in. Oh my god, no. like that. Okay, and we're gonna go ahead and lay out where all these pieces go, roughly. Make it somewhere here and somewhere here, right? Then, where's the other piece? I appear to have lost my analog stick. What did I do with it? Oh, oh. <laughs> I have it. I'm stealing it. Okay, there we go. All right, so it looks like that, right? Not too far off from our little example. Okay, so we'll have this down. Move this down a bit like that. All right. All right, we're almost there. Okay, so we're going to glue everything uh, down. Uh, actually, we can QB these up a little bit. Might as well. All right. uh, there you go. Go ahead and start gluing this down here as well. The only thing that you have to watch out for on this project is to make sure that the that when you glue this one down, that you're only getting the sides. Okay, so you got your controller there. You can kind of press on it, All right? Okay, now for the joystick up here. You're just going to put glue around the edge so that you have enough room to move it. All right, just like that. And place this down right about here. Or there. Okay, and then press it down. Sure, it's going all the way around the sides, not the inside. You've got your controller like that. That's not bad. There we go. 
a little tough to get even. Yeah, it's one of those things with off the mat. The problem is, is that you want to look right over it, but the, the camera's right there too, so it's kind of hard to tell. All right, there we go. Okay, got those. And then you can go ahead and glue this guy down. All right. And I'll glue this one and we'll be done. All right. Uh, Aaron wants to know if we can do a Xbox controller next. This is uh, a controller, game controller, not an Xbox, but it's it might be similar. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let we'll let you guys put in the extra details if you want to do that. How's that sound? All right. And there we have it. Look awesome. at that. Let's, you want to show it off? Absolutely. All right, here we go. That is the reveal there. Wow, that came out really good. This is our off the mat game controller like that. Feel free to hang this on a wall or something like that. All right, not too bad. Juan's first time, All right? Absolutely. All right, uh, if you guys are just joining us here at the end, this is completely free on our website, barely.art. It's called game controller, you know? And if you want to add some extra details there to make it more game controller, -y, feel free. <laughs> it's your craft, we can't tell you how to do it. All right, all right, and that's pretty much all that we have for this. Uh, we've got our little movement going on here. We've got our buttons and things as well, our D-pad as well. So yeah, that's pretty much all that we have. It's awesome. So do you know our signature goodbye one? I think I do. Yes, you do? All right, ready to do it? Absolutely. All right. Bye-bye.